Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbounced Breakfast with Cthulhu. Welcome to our second part of the uh, Don't Starve mini-series that we have going on. So first part was Wilbur. Um, and we lasted until day 31 or is it 28? I don't remember which. We died miserably. Um, we were starving, which wasn't the... Which was the biggest problem until we um, started to, you know, look look for coconuts, and then the palm tree guardian, like three of them spawned and subsequently uh, killed us just very violently. So um, that didn't go so well. Lasted that was like what four episodes. Hopefully, we'll last a little bit longer with the. Uh, Wood legs, though I still haven't really developed a proper strategy is playing with them. Kind of, kind of. And I'll kind of show you what I think works best for wood legs, but anyways. So wood legs is the pirate captain, but since we haven't seen any other pirates, I don't know what what he's a captain of. And he's telling people to don't mind the scurvy. Yar har har. Is it, does that mean he has scurvy? Are we then not playing at a dis like playing with a disadvantage here? Like if he already has scurvy, what chance do we have to survive? Anyways, apparently he can sniff out treasure. He's the captain of the sea legs and he's a pirate. Play likes to be really poignant with their um, description of things. It's uh, kind of awesome. So yeah, let's start uh, as uh, Wilbur. Uh, sorry, not Wilbur, Woodlegs. We're gonna go default world uh, once more. Yeah, and uh, let's do this. Shut your face, pirate. Uh, uh, not pirate. Parrot. Alright, so we are Woodlegs. Um, we ha we start off with a lucky hat. With the spyglass. And boat cannon, four boards, and four doubloons. Now you're wondering, like, why do we have four of these things? Well, you'll see. Because we have a blueprint or a boat that's unique to wood legs, the sea legs, and it requires four boards and four doubloons and one boat cannon. And this is probably one of the best features of playing as wood legs. Let's get some of the more logistical stuff out of the way. We'll set that up. We'll get the speed going. And before we set off an adventure, let's actually. Um, Harvest some resources here. Because we... Would like to... Oh yeah, so... Here's what it means by, um... Woodlegs can sniff out treasure. He basically starts out with this lucky hat. That... I think... I don't know how it actually works. But I think it just randomly... Like... After a certain... Interval... It randomly finds the X marks the spot stuff without having to look into like a message in a bottle. Which is actually pretty amazing if you consider the fact that in our Weber's Quest series we found the Thulocyte um, weaponry and armor inside of a um, an X marks the spot uh, or, or instead of a treasure. Instead of buried treasure. Considering that some people might consider Wilbur Overpowered? I don't count myself amongst that demographic. Because there's one major flaw with playing as wood legs. Whenever you're on land, your sanity drops. Now, it might not seem like a lot, but believe me, when you're fighting like a giant or something, and you happen to be on land, or you're just trying to go through like a tough time where you're poisoned and the, the shit just piling up against you. Having the sanity drain does not help whatsoever. But then again, I mean, it's, the game is called Don't Starve. It's meant to be difficult, so, you know, kind of understand. I don't really need all these seashells, and you know what? As wood legs, I should probably leave them and uh, maybe come back again for another time to get more in case we need the sanity boost if that makes any sense whatsoever but 
Yeah, we're gonna spend our first night on this uh, island, which is fine. Because we would... It's nice to get that extra little bit of a resource boost before we set out on our grand adventure. Let's also get a hammer, make sure we have some... Um, break down those extra boxes and shit that we don't... Uh, won't be needing. Um, I just realized I have no wood. This could go very badly for me. Um, shit. Good god. Uh, wood lights, thank you. Holy crap. How embarrassing would that have been if I died on, like, the first night? Holy crap. I would... I would lose my, uh... Don't starve cred, for sure. I'd be laughed out of the Don't Starve Academy. I'd be a laughing stock. Let's get some more wood before we uh, do anything else. Just to make sure that um, we're set. What do I what do I got? Like I don't need glass bottle, that's stupid. Glass bottle, get the hell out of my life. Thank you. Damn it! Those coconuts hurt. They take 20 health each. It's insane. Okay, that's where we got the glass bottle from. From smashing a crate. Any other crates? Fantastic. More glass bottles. I don't want glass bottles. Stop giving me glass bottles. I don't even want to say the word glass bottle. Z. Maybe we should um, harass some butterflies. Uh, what would I actually need to do now is make a thatch backpack. Thatch pack, I believe it's called. This boat repair kit comes in very handy. Playing as, uh, wood legs. Considering that, although you can always make more sea legs, -es, I found it's generally best to kind of like maintain the one that you have. Oh wow, we just immediately found the, um, Sweet Potato Island. Holy crap. If we had this as Wilbur, maybe we would have lasted a little longer. Because then we wouldn't have had to, you know, hunt, um... Oh, yeah, when he says my pirate senses be tingling, it means that he's discovered another, um... Secret, or buried treasure. Oh, one big problem of playing as, uh, or one big problem with the sea legs there's no, uh, it comes with a, what's it, it already comes with, um, what word am I looking for here? It already comes with the, uh, let's get a campfire going before I lose it. There, that's a decent spot, I guess. Let's just make it, make sure it's not too big. What was I saying? I was talking about the sea legs. Oh, so the sea legs already comes with a sail, so you don't need to worry about um, worry about uh, creating a sail for it. But it also has the boat cannon slot where the um, boat torch would normally go. So unless you're holding a torch manually, you probably shouldn't try to um, explore at night. And now we're kind of faced with this issue of sanity as wood legs. I told you, it doesn't seem like it's uh, draining very fast, but it adds up a lot. Alright, let's just clear this island of uh, sweet potato while we're here. Just to make sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're getting our money's worth. Do we need grass? No, we don't. I maybe I should pick some flowers before I head out, but I'd rather not destroy this island supply of uh, flowers if I can help it. Unfortunately, killing uh, mobs doesn't um, give me sanity like it does with like uh, Wilhelm. Not Wilhelm. What was her name? Wigfrid. Right, Wilhelm's a dude's name. 
Oopsie. So Sea Legs is actually relatively strong. But that being said though, you still don't want to um be caught with your pants down. Cause uh believe me, if you're running through like tall grass and shit with your pants down, oh man. Not a pleasant experience, believe me. Holy crap. I love those crabbit noises. <laughs> and... Oh, look! More s uh, sweet potato. Awesome. Damn it, monkey! What the hell? I didn't know the monkeys w went after... Oh, oops. I didn't mean to... Sorry, monkey! I didn't mean to hit you! But you were eating my sweet potato, so... You know. I think I'm justified in accidentally punching you in the face with a machete. Although, it is sometimes nice to aggravate the monkeys so that they'll intentionally throw shit at you. Just don't get hit with it because it drains your sanity like crazy. Every hit is like 10 sanity. Holy shit. Oh my god. Monkey, I'm sorry, okay? Piss off, man. Dang it, are you still mad? Why are you still mad, bro? I only, like, slashed you in the face once with a, um, with a machete. Do you really think your reaction is uh, proportionate here? I don't. I'm just picking sweet potatoes, man. You're, like, harassing me. Thankfully, he's gone. I can stop yelling at him. But I probably won't. It's just kind of fun yelling sometimes. Okay. There we go. Nighttime. Fantastic. Let's eat our coconuts. Cook that up. Let's cook up our limpets. Do we need to cook up our sweet potato? Eh. Not right now, I don't think. What I would actually really like to do is build a science machine so that I can get a spade, go around digging up, um, treasures, and, uh, racking up on, um, Woodlegs' you know, main benefit. Good god. Look at that. I'm already, like, basically nuts. Jeez. This is crazy. I am gonna have to pick some flowers. It's unfortunate, but, as I always love to say, needs must when the devil drives. I'm gonna pick up this shit. Because it was flung at me. And, uh, you know, I feel like I've kind of earned it. And that's probably how the monkey feels, too. Uh, yeah, more shit. No, you can. You can just. You can suck it, monkey. You can suck it. I, w I should set fire. You know what? Here. Why don't we demonstrate. The power of the sea legs. Boom! You see that? Monkeys. On fire. That is how we do. As wood legs. That is the power of wood legs. Oh, I'm sorry. You need food? Bam! Launch shit at a freaking bird and kill it. Monkeys. No more. In fact, they turned into food. Delicious morsels. And that, my friends, is one of the biggest benefits of playing as Woodlegs. You get to exact revenge. Exactly. What? What is this? Mist. So as you notice that uh, my sanity isn't drop uh, dropping since I'm on uh, on a boat. So I find the best thing to do is actually to more or less kind of survey the island before you get off so that you at least know how big it is and kind of like what to expect at least on the outskirts. You want to minimize your time on um, on land basically. And if you do find a good piece of land, I'll show you kind of what I did that I found um, helped a lot. Besides like stuffing your gullet with freaking 
um, whatchamacallit, just stuffing yourself with uh, flowers. Not exactly the strategy that I'm going for, but you know what? Whatever floats your boat, right guys? Okay, spiders, not a good idea to come at me, bro. That's what you get. How does that feel? Feel good? That's what you get too, bird. That's what you get. This is what you get when you step to me, son. And yeah, you, you don't even need to mine anymore. Just friggin' launch your um, thing. And I think it's unlimited. Which is incredible. Like, where else would you get this deal? You're not gonna get this kind of deal at Best Buy. No. Let's uh, hope that our boat doesn't catch on. This... I honestly have no idea what's happening right now. Apparently my computer is having some major seizure, so please excuse me. Alright, we're back. Uh, computer has stopped its major seizure. Um, I guess it didn't like my strategy of... Well, spoiler alert. Basically, what I found helps is setting up your base next to the water. That way, um, you get to kind of be on your boat right and I'm gonna do whatever you need to do actually this island might not be a bad place to settle there's lots of fish up there so we can go fishing if we need to um then again there's little of much else so maybe we should stick with a, being around the um yam farm but first things first though now that we have Enough, well, gold, but apparently not enough, um, friggin' what's it? Wood. Let's get a science machine going. Right, we're gonna build it here, just in case we do decide to settle around this area. Uh, I would like a little bit more land. Um, so it's almost like, if you can find, like, a lagoon area, that's what I found is, uh, best. But we're gonna make a shovel. Which I keep calling a spade. To... What am I... The way that I was taught English. Is by... British ways, I guess. Anyways. Um, what do we need to do? That's kind of... It. Oh yeah. Let's get a regular backpack going. Let's put all our shit in there. Like, literally put the shit in there. And I'm actually gonna go get some more wood before we, uh, head out. Simply because it's really useful. And we might make one more shovel? No, I don't think it's necessary. What am I missing? I'm missing twigs? Son of a bitch. Someone please tell me that there's twigs around. Please? Twigs? Shit. There's no twigs around. This is usually how I die, I find. I just die to, like, the dumbest things ever. Ah, I forgot I'm out of twigs. Oh, no! Oh, there's one right there. But, apparently I need more than one, so that doesn't really help. Nope! I don't need more than one. Never mind. What do we need? I need... I need an axe. That's what I need. I think I'm good in terms of... What? Possibly? No. It's always good to have a shit ton of wood. Let's plant these jungle tree seeds back down. Shit. Um. Oh, good. We do have enough uh, resources to build a campfire, thankfully. Although, I do have to remember that... Spider, go away. You don't want to do this, man. You don't want to do this. You don't want to see where I can take this bitch. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't step to- Okay, you know what? This is how you die. I hope that burns. Like, literally, I hope that burns. But what we have to make sure that doesn't burn is our science machine. So I'm gonna build it uh, over here. 
where hopefully it's not gonna set anything on fire. But far enough, like uh, close enough that I can make a board, shove that in there. And hopefully it'll still provide enough fire for me to, um, or provide enough range for my fire? There we go. See, this is how I like to kind of do things. I would, I would probably actually put my campfire a little closer to the edge of the water. And what I would do is I'd replace the um, terrain with um, wooden terrain with man-made stuff so that it uh, doesn't get flooded over. So we're actually going to go uh, treasure hunting. Because let's face it, that is kind of the biggest feature, biggest selling point of playing as woodlegs. Fantastic. All right, so let's set off on a treasure hunt. We've got another treasure here and basically treasure on every island that we've ever visited so far, which is fantastic. <sighs> All right. Oh, great. Okay, so the waves are kind of going against us, which means that we need to slow down. Make sure that we're not going into the waves. Oh, yeah. You can fire at things in the water, too. It creates a giant um, tidal wave that, you know, goes in all directions. But it's really cool. Oh, yay. Just expertly navigate through those things. Oh, yeah, great thing about uh, the boat cannon is that you can fire it at um, jellyfish. And seeing as how there's like always a shit ton of jellyfish all over the place. It makes for easy food gathering. You can also fire at um, dogfish. Oh god, no! Did that hit me? I don't know. I have no idea. If you can hit them, I think it takes about a couple hits to actually kill them. Yeah. It's nice to... It, it's a good idea to actually fire your cannon behind a little piece of land. So that the waves don't actually get to you. Oh god. There we go. See that? Dead dogfish. Delicious. Can we eat this, like, sashimi style? Perhaps? Oh, right. We're clear for um, waves here, so we can just speed things up. Yep, this is the mark of my destruction. Get those bone shards. Tropical parasol and ice cube. How we found a wrapper inside of um, a chest in the uh, in an island it's kind of beyond me, but I'm glad we rescued him. I like him. He's funny. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, let's go on to the next island, and. We're going to try to expertly dodge the waves that we already did, and I'm already speaking about it for far too long. Is this the island where we started? I think so. Oh, look at that. We got poison spear, we got a boat lantern that we can't use, we got a super spyglass. Hot damn, guys. I wouldn't exactly call this a mother load, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's try eating this dead dogfish and see if our, um... If we lose anything. I mean, we should be able to eat it sashimi style, right? We can. Fantastic. And I am hearing ghosties. Which is never fun. But yeah, sanity is always going to be a constant struggle when you're playing as wood legs. Or at least, that's how it was for me. Maybe not for you guys. I just opened those, um... Tuna cans because I don't really have space to carry individual ones and they're not stackable so I don't know what the captain hat does so I'm not really gonna take it oh green mushrooms these guys are your best friends as uh, wood legs or as pretty much anyone honestly unless you are um, Wigfrid because she can't eat anything that's not meat so let's cook up that green cap. Fantastic. I think fish steak actually gives you health and stuff too, which is 
pretty cool. But it looks like we're stuck on land for the night. I mean, we could kind of get to our boat, but eh, eh it should be okay. I don't think it's a big concern right now. And if we need to, you know what, there's a lot of seashells on this island, and I am not opposed to picking them. Because as long as we maintain our sea legs, we shouldn't need to um, get seashells to to make armored boats and stuff. So, I actually haven't tried breaking down the sea legs to see if we get the boat cannon back. Because if we can, then it's pretty much a renewable resource. Because we can get doubloons, well, randomly. I guess it's not a, you know, sure thing. But we can pr pretty much get doubloons, um, infinitely. And we can definitely get, you know, wooden boards infinitely for sure. So. Anyways, let's go over to the other island that we're, where we know we have treasure waiting for us. Let's see what we get this time. Another parasol and ice cube again. How he keeps ending up and freaking treasure chests is beyond me. That dude needs to like get his shit together. Damn it. Okay. Right. I forget that uh, if you kill something with um, with your poison spear, you get like pretty much stale shit. But that snake deserved it. Actually, you know what I should have done is I should have uh, busted up the hammer or the chests. After opening them up to get that extra two boards, but I completely forgot that that was a thing. So yeah, that's another pro tip for you. Although I, considering if you've seen me play my other series, like as Weber and Wil Wilbur, maybe you don't want to take my advice. Probably a smart thing. You might not last very long. Going by my advice. No, no, no. It's not what I want you to do. Yeah, I want you to dig that up. Oh god! Three snakes! This is hell. Probably for, um. What's his face? Oh god, no! Please! You guys suck! They're dead. Fantastic. More doubloons? I should have probably kept the doubloons from the other place, but eh, it's fine. Not a big deal. We're already full up on... Wow, damn, we got lucky. So yeah, this uh, this tends to happen. Spear gun, we got a blubber suit. Oh, dang. Gives us like... Okay, apparently Woodlegs is not a big fan of um, the idea of wearing a blubber suit. Which I guess is understandable. I don't like the poison spear, to be perfectly honest, so I'm actually gonna replace it with a regular spear. Spear gun, eh. What does blubber suit do again? I think it makes you impervious to... wetness, right? Oh my god, I'm so full up on crap that I literally don't have space to carry a friggin' twig. Good god, you know what, Niter? Goodbye. You're pointless. Fantastic. Well, I mean, our the our first episode comes to a close, and I haven't even built a friggin' base yet. Um, but I think we're going to have to leave it off here and come back again in the next episode. It's already night. Maybe it's not a bad, a good idea to. Let's set up camp. Not ideal, but it is what it is. But yeah, let's leave it off here and come back again in the next episode. So, hope you guys join me for the rest of uh, our little mini-series featuring Woodlegs. Hopefully it'll go a little better than um, what happened with Wilbur, but... Well, you know... We'll, we'll, we'll try to remember him as best as we can. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance with me in control. No one does. Anyways, yeah, we'll leave it off here and see you again tomorrow. So, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.